Greetings, Clive Gaw here. Uh, we have finally gotten around to finishing uh, the big drawing that we've been working on. Um, uh, I wanted to show it to you again, uh, and uh, then we'll move on to the other work that we uh, began the last time we were together. Um, but uh, yeah, this piece, um, in a, a kind of an extreme drawing, even though it's done with paint, uh, really a painting could be classified as uh, drawing with paint uh, instead of other traditional drawing materials like pencil or ch ch uh, chalk, Crayola, uh, inks. Um, so the, we used acrylic paint on this particular image. Um, I call it a drawing. Um, it's could be classified as a painting um, uh, done primarily with stencil, a stencil technique and uh, stippling action with the brush. Um, so really, uh, you know, abstract uh, and um, uh, emphasizing uh, repetition of um, different kinds of marks, shapes, uh, symmetrical in the composition, and um, um, I mean you could say it's a work of expressionism. Uh, it's more abstract expressionism. Uh, when you think about expressionism, you think about, um, if I could quote Daniel Wojcik, who wrote a wonderful book called Outsider Art, um, you know, expressionists uh, exaggerate jarring images uh, to express intensely subjective uh, heightened emotional states uh, and responses to their surrounding world. Um, and so um, thinking about that quote, uh, thinking about our situation that we're in right now, um, you know, working uh, out here in the garage, You know, I'm doing what I typically do in my garage um, when I have free time and even though we're on, uh, this is sort of like class time, it's actually 6 o'clock right now or close to it, um, you know, I'm thinking about all of you working in at your homes, home-based studios, and you know, I'm doing the same, doing the same thing. Working when when I feel like working, which lately has been a, a lot. Uh, feeling like you know this is something that I have to do uh, at this point. Um, it's just a have to for me. So um, let's take a quick look at this work. Uh, emphasizes um, a lot of different things. Um, and I know somebody had mentioned earlier that they uh, detected that there was a, uh, some uh, some of the uh, work uh, they felt was crowded to them, and um, that very well uh, is a, a a thoughtful consideration, and I appreciate that person's viewpoint. Um, I don't know, I, I couldn't help but um, um, make the marks uh, together, close together. It just felt like that was the way that I had to go to, uh, to work on this piece. Um, you know, maybe the marks are too close together, but... Um, that's just the way that I work. So, um, so that's what we've got. That's what we ended up with. Um, uh, I guess you could say there's a sense of uh, energy revealed in here. The mark making um, does reveal some energy uh, uh, released in the uh, production of the work. So. 
What we're going to do now is take a look at what's behind here. It's the piece that we started. That we, I'm sorry, that we, yeah, it's the piece that we began a while ago. Uh, I'm going to put this piece over here. I'll just drop it right in here. And um, so, there we go. So we're going to work on this piece um, over the next couple of days, and um, we'll get it going. We'll see what happens. 